Okay, let's play the engine again. We are playing against 2000. <clears throat> it's really a nice practice. So we are playing the king's Indian defense. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the tower attack. Now, I guess we can go d6 in this position. Okay, now let's short castle. Okay, now my question is that if we're going to take this pawn, you can take with the knight. Now we can push the pawn, trying to fork between two pieces. In between, you can try to maybe take this pawn and we can take back. Yeah, so I think we can actually go for that. And just for you now, guys, if you take uh, the e pawn and he's going to take your f pawn, this is actually good for you because this will be an open rook against this king. And also, it's uh, the center pawn is basically a better one. So let's go for this line. Uh, it doesn't even take the pawn. It doesn't even take the pawn. Uh, well, basically, it's supposed to take. You go this d5. You try to uh, protect the knight. You take and you take with the bishop with the pressure on you. But it doesn't take. So I think this is actually a good a good idea to just take this bishop. If I'm going to take this knight, I think that I'm just going to help him improve the position. So basically, let's say GG to the bishop and we can continue. Now he's building some small, no, nothing serious, but uh, building some small pressure against my position. So <clears throat> basically I can go immediately with the e5. We are winning a tempo on the knight. You probably need to, talk, to go back and then we can try to exchange in the center. And I guess we can also play d5 in this position, but which is essentially a good move because it's also restricted the knight. So basically after e5 we can try to maybe <coughs> uh, defend the knight with, with one another, but then we can take, take and I guess it's better for us. So <coughs> how do we want to do it guys? Um, Okay, so I think e5 with a tempo is actually a good move. Also, his king is, in, is still in the center, so it's actually good for us. And yeah, he's trying to defend the, the knight with, with one another. Now, I can also take e take and I advance my knight with the pressure on this pawn. Uh, but I think that we also get maybe d5. So here he can maybe take and I take a piece, he exchange um my queen for his queen yeah so i think this is actually a, a fork if i'm not mistaken yeah basically i don't see anything yeah so we can just immediately go for it again my guess is that he will try to go uh, take e5 but it doesn't really matter because after the exchange we are still going to be completely fine so let's take okay so again he's just ignoring uh, ignoring this well, uh, taking this knight, you can take with the knight. Taking with the bishop makes some more sense because now we get a very strong c4 pawn. Um, it also cancels the pressure that is got on my position. So yeah, let's let's just take. Okay, so he's taking uh, he's taking the pawn. We can also try to exchange queens. This is also an idea. We can also take. This pawn with the bishop, which you can try to defend with f5. Um, yeah, I think we can just take. We can just take and take. Okay, so he declined. He's, he's, he's paying f5 now, but... And now I guess I can also go f, bishop f6, but he can take. Okay, so let's just fall back for now. We can also remove the queen exchange. Now he's got some pressure on this pawn. Um, I guess I can also go b5 in this position, with may, which may be a bit overextended. Um, we can also play bishop here, but he can obviously take. We can go bishop f5, which is a move. And I'm not so sure that I want to develop my pieces in order to protect this pawn because I think that uh, we are up a piece anyway so playing uncomfortable move like uh, b5 and then you can try to maybe put some pressure um, 
on my rook I, I don't really think that I'm going to enjoy this position so I think um, a move like b6 and bishop here or here is actually a very nice move but to be honest I think maybe we can still go for that I mean, you can try to pressure my position sorry for taking a bit long guys but I want to make the right call Okay, it's a bit overextended. Mm. No, what I'm more, more comfortable with playing maybe knight c6, just some uh, natural developing moves. I also uh, also need some uh, space for my queen because uh, rook d1 is coming next. So also uh, <clears throat> a move like uh, c6 makes sense. It also makes sense, uh, but yeah. I've, I, I'm afraid to be a bit squeezed out. So no, c6 is actually a bad move. We're going to allow this knight after uh, rook d1. D hmm. Uh, we still need to think. We can just try to pressure this bishop, uh, this uh, knight, sorry. We can just keep it simple. Left of take, you can pressure my position. Um, okay, so I'm not entirely positive with the, our development, so let's play a bit overextended, let's go uh, b5 anyway, I guess the rook is coming, yes, and uh, now basically I am lacking some space <coughs> on the, around this area, so uh, let's go queen here, I will try to develop the bishop, put pressure on this knight, this is actually not a scary move to face um, but we still need to be careful from many ideas so I think develop the bishop immediately is good uh, but basically you can also just take if you want to sack his rook you don't really care um, so basically we can just develop with the tempo and I guess if in the future we try to pressure this rook I can also go uh, c6 supported by this knight yeah so let's go take and take in case there is an exchange okay so decline the exchange um, let's just take I guess if we take with the queen with the tempo on the rook of course I take okay so I decline um, let's keep going guys <clears throat> uh, I guess maybe f5 in this move is, a, is an idea because now we are going to pressure his knight takes Take, he can take with the rook. Mm, no, it's not really working. Um, okay, so let's keep develop the knight. Let's keep develop the knight. Also, maybe a c5 is a move. Okay, so maybe even c5, but right now it's occupied. No, but actually c5, if he take a win the queen, if he doesn't take, I can take. Yeah, this is actually quite nice. This is actually quite good. Okay, so it's protected the knight with the, with the rook. But this is still good for us. If we take with the queen, I'm just going to take. Okay, so basically our position is really, really good. We're up the exchange tremendously. Uh, now we need to improve the position of the queen. I thought about the move uh, queen c6. Very natural move. Everything is protected. We are not allowing rook d7. Okay, so this is actually quite uh, quite strong, but nothing too seriously. Okay, just reinforcing everything. <clears throat> um, so we still want to find the move, guys. Uh, I like the idea of pushing maybe c5, maybe even put some pressure on this pawn is an idea. So basically, we can also go check, I guess. We can try to win this pawn. Now, this pawn is actually protected because of this queen but again a uh, very nice very nice idea is just, is just uh, sorry to exchange queens you got two rooks and a bishop against two rooks you also got uh, four pawns on the queen side against three and three pawns on the king side against two so basically this is just completely winning we just need to to be certain that we are not blundering or anything so basically this is almost a gg
Okay, I guess he would try to maybe play a uh, rook e7x, but we are basically just faster. Let's pre move. Yeah, so rook e7 trying to pressure my position, but yeah, it's not it's not really fast enough. Everything is protected. Uh, it's basically just too slow. And we still need to find a way to develop. So first of all, let's take. Do you want to develop the bishop? We can try to offer exchange, but it's not. We are not ready to do so yet. Um, I do need uh, to find a solution to develop my bishop with a tempo, maybe. So the downside after uh, rook d8 to try to give some space to the bishop that you can also play a move like uh, rook f1 in this position, and we might be in some troubles. So yeah. This might be an issue. And um, also a move like uh, before, if we take say take seems like a nice idea. So we're going to put some pressure slowly but carefully. Okay, so he's putting pressure on this pawn, but uh, again, uh, we just want to simplify the position. Let's take, I guess he will take and try to pressure this pawn. So uh, we can also slide back in order to defend everything. <clears throat> We can also try to pressure this pawn with the tempo on the, on the rook. We got plenty of ideas. I guess if you want to be precise, you slide the bishop back. You give a defender uh, to the c uh, to the c pawn. Um, <clears throat> everything is defended. Now we got a free rook, so we will try to exchange rooks. We just need to be aware of any <clears throat> a four a five ideas, but. To be honest, we are completely fine. And now a good idea is to try to maybe uh, play a5, keep, keep everything intact. And I, wa I want to try to exchange the second rook. So a small maneuver of the rook, like rook d8, king f8, and then try to exchange. Seems like a very nice idea. Yes, he will go back. Now we try to exchange rook, uh, rooks. Yes. Well, basically take... Um, I don't have any plans here. If I'm going here, I can take with the rook. Like check, you can take with the rook. Now this is just closing, so let's just take slowly but carefully, and let's improve the position of the king. Now basically everything is protected. He's got zero chances. Pushing this pawn isn't going to help, and uh, this king cannot really enter because this bishop is just protecting everything and we can basically just go f6 takes takes and we just can promote the pawn which the bishop is also allowing us to secure comfortably so let's go uh, as you saw the plan we can just immediately go for that i guess he will try to defend with his king this is the most natural move so we will try to block his king let's go a few more moves okay so basically as you see the king is way too far to interfere so now you can pre-move at least three. Okay, we can pre-move basically everything. Is too far. Now let's see, guys. <clears throat> we don't want to draw this game because it doesn't have any legal moves. So check. You got the move. Um, so we can go maybe. <clears throat> we can go maybe check. Try to maybe develop the second queen. This is also an idea. So let's begin. Queen g6. Okay. Now we can also try to promote the second queen, as, as you see it's got many legal, sorry, many legal moves, so don't be afraid to push the pawn, you cannot take the bishop because of this queen, which the, this bishop is kind of irrelevant anyway, so let's keep going, and we basically can, yeah, we can make a new queen, okay, now for the second part, so now we can also play queen c8, pressure this uh, this king he doesn't have any legal moves or those two squares because of this bishop and the queen only legal move is queen uh, sorry is king b5 now you give the second chain a check supported by this queen and as you see everything is completely covered also this pawn is covered any exit spot exit point so we can also just remove everything and this is just a checkmate yeah, uh, it was fun. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.